This weekend, Liberty University will celebrate homecoming. For the Flames football team, it'll also be their homecoming. After traveling more than 3,500 miles for four consecutive road games, Liberty will host Kennesaw State on Saturday night. And I know it's exciting. It's homecoming. Uh, a lot of former players, a lot of former students and so on and alumni and so on are coming back for this ball game. And, and so we're excited to play in front of our crowd and uh, we're ready to play. We're excited to have the crowd back uh, in our favor. You know, we've been playing in some smaller environments lately, haven't had as much intensity. So we're, we're excited to you know, have 20,000 people in here rocking on Saturday. It will have been one month and five days since Liberty's last game at Williams Stadium, an upset win over then seventh-ranked Montana. A lot has changed since then. The Flames are three and four and still searching for a Big South win after dropping their first two conference games. Despite the two losses that we have, um, I mean, we still can reach our goals and what we want to accomplish still, uh, even though after those losses. The desire that we need to come out with this week to be able to want to win um, to do what we do um, has to be at, the, at an ultimate high right now uh, because nobody wants to go out and experience what we experienced the last two weeks. I know I don't. The Flames offense was shut out through three quarters during last week's 20-17 to overtime loss at Monmouth. Liberty scored 17 points to take the lead in the fourth quarter, but missed opportunities from earlier in the game proved costly. Kennesaw State is allowing just 14.7 points per game, fifth best in FCS football. They're directed well. They don't get out of position a whole lot either. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's going to come down to, you know, moving the ball. But, you know, obviously when we get to that plus 20 range, we've got to score touchdowns. You know, that's been enough of this other stuff. We're excited about it. You know, they they play with energy. And, you know, we want to get back to that team like we were in Montana where we were playing with energy. We were flying around and, you know, just having fun out there. I think we've kind of lost our – um, you know, sort of our spark for football in these past couple games, just having these, you know, two heartbreaking losses. So we got to get back to that and just start having more fun. Owls head coach Brian Bohannon spent 17 years under Georgia Tech skipper Paul Johnson, and he's brought the option offense with him to Kennesaw State. KSU is fourth in the country, averaging 325 rushing yards per game. Flames defensive coordinator Robert Wimberly and his staff have been working on this week's game plan for months. We did a real good job in the offseason uh, getting some uh, option study uh, for some offensive coaches that have run the option in the past that may have been retired. You know, in the past, my mindset was to be simple uh, so we can be sound. Uh, but now, gaining the knowledge I was able to gain in the offseason, along with Coach Singletary, Coach Bookbinder, and Coach Marshall, uh, we really feel excited. The quarterback is the key. You stop him, you got a great chance of being successful as far as keeping them off the scoreboard as far as when they run their offense. Uh, uh, they've only uh, thrown the ball, I think, 66 times, 67 times in the game. And so they don't throw the ball a whole lot, but when they do throw it, they're all throwing the ball down the field and, and having some success with that. Al's quarterback Trey White had 34 carries for 170 yards in last week's win over Gardner-Webb. That's a few more than what Coach Brian Bohannon would like to see out of his quarterback, but hey, they'll do whatever it takes to win the football game. Gardner-Webb held Kennesaw State the rest of Kennesaw State's rushers to just 69 yards combined on the ground. The Flames, on the other hand, are trying to get the run game going this week. Liberty's 124 rushing yards per game are the fewest in the Big South. And when the Flames outrush their opponents, they're 3-0 and this year. When they're outrushed by their opponents, they're 0-4. and Very telling stat, it's likely that whoever runs the football better here on Saturday night will win the game. Kickoffs at 7 o'clock inside Williams Stadium, homecoming for the Liberty Flames. In Lynchburg, I'm Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.